Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the video tonight, it's very, very quick. I just wanted to show you a couple of new digitals that are um, now in my Etsy store and each one will be listed below. Um, but my husband got home a little early tonight, so I am just going to spend some time with him rather than do like a crafting video or anything. But I did want to show you guys these. So let me grab this first one here. So the first one is this, it's one page. Um, it's Victorian ladies calling cards. And they're showing up darker on the camera than what they really are. My lighting is not good. But as you can see, they're like um, vintage um, receipts, menus, ledgers, that kind of stuff with the Victorian ladies on them. And then they have the roses. Um, let me see what these measure. So these are a little over an inch and a half by about two and a half inches. So these are great little additions for your journals. And um, it's 15 of these that's in the little kit. Um, I think these are like $1.95 or something um, since it was just the one page. But that's the Victorian Ladies Calling Cards. Okay. And then next, <clears throat> my favorite, <laughs> we have Vintage Florals Tea Cards. It's the same size, but... Um, the calling cards is what, whenever I was researching to do them, um, the calling cards, the Victorian ladies used to have little cards about that size that would have like their name or something on it that they would give out. So that's why I call those calling cards. These are vintage florals tea cards. And um, so it's the same, but there's, there's two different, um, like these are the same backgrounds, just different flowers. Um, but again, it's the same type thing. It's like the vintage style, like receipts, ledgers, um, invoices, all that kind of stuff. But it's got those beautiful florals on it. Um, makes a gorgeous, gorgeous um, little addition to your journal. And so these, this page here is the same receipts, the same background, but the, um, the floral images are different. So you'll get three complete pages. And this one, I love this one. And again, I don't know why these are showing up so dark on camera because they're not that dark. But I'll just hold it up where you guys can get a good look at it. Let me hold this one up for you to see. How beautiful are these? And so these are the Vintage Florals Tea Cards. And so you get it three sheets, so you get a total of 45 different tea cards in this little kit. Great, great, great deal. Um, I have these priced very low, especially considering the amount of time that I spent on them. I did price them very, very, very low. Um, okay, now the next one. This one is just a five page kit, but it's five amazing pages. And so I have called this one Industrial Grunge Junk Journal. It's a small kit, like I said. Um, so these are actual um, tags. And so on, like on this page here, I took the tag out from around the um, letters and numbers. And then I toned this page down from the original, but it's on that... Um, coffee dyed uh, background paper and I love the border around it and again I printed from my iPad so my iPad prints with the border if I printed from my computer it would have went all the way to the edge so that's one page and then this page is this is the actual color that the tag um the numbers were and so I actually loved how bright and bold those were and so I left that page and so you can see all the different tag numbers. And then this page here, it's just a bunch of different um, vintage fonts and it's all, it's nothing but numbers um, on some grunged up, really grunged up paper. Um, so this is great industrial type paper. And then we have this one here. 
this is some of the tags that I used um, to get the um, numbers off of. I did tone the color down on this um, rather than leaving it at the original color because it was very bright, but I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, and now probably my favorite page in this entire kit is this page. Look at that. How amazing is that? Yeah, I love, 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 love this page. So it is just a super, super grungy page with all those tags on it, um, or the number, you know, the, the writing on the tags. I love this page. So this is, like I said, this is a five page little small kit, um, but this is definitely a great addition. And so this will be um, linked below as well. And again, this is the Industrial Grunge Junk Journal Kit. All right, and the last one for tonight, you guys will see that I have been so busy. Look at this. This is the Grungy Rose Junk Journal Kit. This kit is 14 pages. I have been busting my butt to get this kit out because I love this kit for myself, but just the, I, I just, I love it. But it took a lot of work to get this. So I'm just gonna show you these beautiful pages. Um, so again, it's very grungy, very, very grungy. It is not my typical roses kit because you guys know I love doing roses. So I love doing this, um, but it was very different because it is grungy roses. So um, we have this one here. It's like a lattice type background um, with that beautiful, I think it's a Chinese rose with all the grunge. And then this one here, look how beautiful. And the shadows are like really playing with my lighting and I do apologize. I don't know what to do, but it's dark here. But look how beautiful that is. And then here's another one. I love, 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 love the colors in all of in all 14 of these pages. I love this kit. Um, and I will be making something with this kit. I can assure you of that. So the way this one, um, the way I've done this one, it almost looks like peeling paint in the background. Um, what it actually, to me, what it looks like is like wallpaper where it's peeling and chipping um, from age. But how pretty is that? And then it is a good variety of colors in the kit. It's not all pinks. Um, there is a very good variety of colors in here that you, so you can use it in pretty much any journal. Again, this kind of looks like peeling wallpaper to me. So see, that one had the green. This one has some blues and yellows with just some of the little, um, I don't know, like English type roses. And this one's maybe a more peachy pink. Um, and again, to me, it just reminds me of like the Victorian wallpaper and it looks like it's peeling off. And, and here's another green colored one. It's not really like a... I don't know, it's like that really vintage green. I love it. And it looks like maybe like some lace um, embellishments in it. And then look at this color. And so I put the ticking paper kind of behind it. It's kind of layered down into it. Um, so it's just a very small hint of it with a little splash of color here and there that's not that teal blue. Love it. This one's maybe a cream colorish. Mm. I think that would probably be the easiest way for me to describe it. And then I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's got like some little lace type elements through um, around the different circles. Just absolutely stunning. And then here, <clears throat> excuse me, is another one that I done with the, the lattice type background, but I use the yellow um, and I, I don't know if that's a Chinese rose or a cabbage rose. I don't know. I need to look and see. 
but there is that. And this would be so perfect with like some, some of that grunge wording or, you know, some of the, um, the different things that I'll put into some of the other kits where it's like that um, really vintage style wording or script, you know, have some script. But I just wanted this to, this particular part of this kit, I wanted it to be just this. Now I may go on and do like a, an additional kit where I do use these backgrounds and then add some different stuff. That is a possibility. Um, but this kit here, I just really wanted it to be mainly you know, the like wallpaper type stuff. This one really reminds me of wallpaper. Um, it's just beautiful. I love it. It's got like the small flowers throughout it. It's like a cream background. I love this one with the little tiny pink roses. And then I don't know if it's showing up real good, but it's got like a lattice, a lace lattice um, background. And it's kind of like a cream colored, I guess you could say. And the last page is this one. And so it's the, um, I think it goes that way. No, I think it goes that way. So it's like the, um, a little bit darker rose, the yellow and the red color. Um, it's not quite as dark as what it's showing up on camera, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So this kit will also be listed below. And there is just so many different uses for this kit. This kit here, um, these pages would make great um, pages for pockets, for envelopes, um, for tags. <clears throat> you can use them as pages in your journals, but the way that these pages are, they would be just wonderful to use um, as an, an addition to any other journal because the colors are just so, they're, it's just so out there. I love it. Um, and like I said, we will make something using this kit. Um, that is for sure. And again, there will probably be an, like a grungy rose two or something. I don't know. Um, because, you know, as I was sitting here looking through this going over it with you guys I could just see like the scripts and like some of the vintage objects and maybe one of the Victorian ladies in it and then you know a big one of the bigger roses just kind of see I'm just I gotta stop <laughs> which when I get off of here I'm gonna go sit with my husband while we watch football and I'm probably going to work on the next kit of this so again this is the grungy rose journal kit we have the Industrial Grunge Small Journal Kit. We have the Vintage Florals Tea Cards. And we have the Victorian Ladies Calling Cards. The links to all of these will be listed below. And trust me, there are a lot, a lot. I have a lot of digitals in the works. Um, I am like busting my butt to try and just fill my shop up with digitals, new digitals. So I am working like literally almost day and night on getting all of this stuff done. Um, so there will be a lot of new digitals coming up. So stay tuned. Um, I will get on here and do another, um, you know, little preview for you guys. I'll probably be doing one tomorrow because I can just about guarantee you I will have a second kit to this done before tomorrow evening. I just, I, I know that I will because... My mind, like right now, as I'm talking, my mind is racing. I can just already see what I want to do with this. So there's that. Um, and there's probably going to be another industrial grungy type um, kit, uh, maybe with some um, n letters or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I have, I've got a couple of backgrounds that I've already created that I've just got to figure out what I want to put on the background. So, and they are very grungy. So, Anyway, guys, I am going to run. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And for all of you that have supported my Etsy store and purchased from me, I appreciate it more than you guys know. There's no way that I can express my gratitude to each and every one of you. Um, the comments on my videos, the likes, all of it. You guys, there's no way that I can express 
the amount of gratitude that I feel um, for each and every single one of you. And I honestly, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And um, there's that's thank you doesn't seem enough, but you know, I don't know what else to say or do. But anyway, guys, thank you so much. Go and check these out. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.